Solve for x in the domain of 0 to 2 pi. And in these set of questions on solving trigonometric equations, we are trying to understand how does the domain change when the argument changes, right? So the limit here is given, or the domain here is given for x. So what is given to us is that x is greater than or equal to 0 and is less than or equal to 2 pi. Okay. In the equation, we have 2x, not x. So what will happen to the domain? So this 2x should be greater than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to 4 pi. Do you understand? That is how the domain changes when the argument changes. And this is what is what we're trying to understand here. Otherwise, the question is very simple. Now let's try to solve it. So what do we get from here? So we get 2 of cos 2x equals to square root of 3, right? We can take it on the right side. And then we have cos 2x is equals to square root of 3 over 2. Perfect. Now think like this, that this is angle theta for us, right? This is angle theta, right? Cos theta is square root 3 over 2. That is, this is theta, correct? Now, and you need positive value. So when will cosine be positive? So if you know the cost rule, which you all know, cos is positive here and here, correct? And therefore, we are expecting two answers, one in this quadrant, the other one in this quadrant, correct? To get cos of 2x equals to square root 3 over 2, or cos theta equals to square root 3 over 2, you can use your calculator, or you can draw your special triangles. So if I draw my special triangle, so I think this will work for us, right? So in this triangle, what do we have? This is 30, 60, 90, okay? Or pi by 3, pi by 6, and pi by 2. So these are the sides of this triangle. And the angle which we have is, this one is a smaller angle, that's the bigger angle, pi by 6, pi by 3 is the bigger angle, pi by 6 is the smaller angle. Correct? So that is our triangle. Now when is cosine square root 3 over 2? Square root 3 over 2 adjacent over hypotenuse, it is pi by 6. Correct? That means we have one answer which is pi by 6 here. So that is one answer and that is pi by 6. So at this time cosine theta or we should say the related acute angle alpha is pi by 6 for cos of alpha to be square root 3 over 2. The other answer should be in the fourth quadrant, right? So that answer. So either you could write pi by 6 and minus pi by 6 or you could do pi by 6. So we have pi by 6 here and that is 12 total, one less, 11 pi by 6, correct? So the possible values for theta are 1 pi by 6, the second, let's go one full circle like this, and here it is, which is 11 pi by 6, correct? We get 11 pi by 6. Now remember one thing. Actually speaking, we are talking about cos 2x, not just cos x. And therefore, our domain has changed. For cos 2x, it is between 0 to 4 pi. Do you understand? 0 to 4 pi, and that means we have to go one more circle. So we got already 2, which is 0 to 2 pi. And then we have to go like, this is one more, and that one. So those are all the possible answers. So we get two more answers. That means we need to add on this another 2 pi and 2 pi. Do you understand? another 2 pi and 2 pi. For pi by 6, we say 12 pi by 6 and 12 pi by 6, correct? <coughs> 2 pi is 12 pi by 6. Remember like this. It's easier to, to add, right? Uh, 12 pi by 6, correct? That is 2 pi, correct? So let's add 12 and 12 to these. So if you add 12 here, you get 13 pi by 6. And if you add 12 here, then you get 12 
23 pi by 6. Do you, do you understand? So these are the possible values of theta or which will be our answer. So if you don't consider this domain change, then you lose these two and you lose half the marks, correct? Now that is 2x. So this is actually 2x is equals to all this. So what is x equals to? Divide by 2. So the possible answers for x is pi by 12, 11 pi by 12, 13 pi by 12, and 23 pi by 12. Do you see? 23 pi by 12 is less than 2 pi, correct? 24 pi by 12 is 2 pi. Do you get that? So we'll see x is within your domain of 0 to 2 pi. Do you check that? If you would have missed these two, you would have only got these two. But those which are in your domain for x between 0 to 2 pi would have been missed. That would be a huge mistake. And that is why considering domain when the argument changes is extremely important. I hope you appreciate with the help of this particular example. Thank you.